Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the news so far we are jumping in again and this time I'm gonna jump in as some tainted boy Tainted Eve we haven't actually played even once yet so let's play as Samson that was fucking stupid wasn't it um <laughs> I honestly didn't mean to do that but we're here now uh are we on a streak let me just check no we're not okay what who did we who did we die as last time I don't even remember who did we die as? Who were we playing as last time? I genuinely don't remember. Still don't have Tainted Forgotten unlocked. God damn. I don't remember. But anyways, I'm going to play as Tainted Eve because, yeah, I it, it's been a while. Although, Tainted Eve's one of those characters that, after the nerf, she became pretty goddamn hard. Um, I think she's a really fun character. Uh, I love the idea of the clots. But, yeah, after the nerf, she definitely got a lot trickier. Um, so we'll just have to kind of see how this goes. I am going to play the first floor risky. Um, oh dude, clot, don't do this to me. This is, clots, behave. <laughs> yeah, after the nerf, she got a lot, 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 lot worse. I honestly don't even know why they nerfed her because it's, it, it made her considerably less fun. Um, but anyways, it is what it is. We're just going to have to live with it. Basically, in case you didn't know, uh, it's been a long time she got nerfed now, so I'm sure most people do. But in case you didn't know, basically now, her clots uh, decay over time, rather than just decaying by taking damage. Uh, which which eventually, as you can see now, they become these sort of like dark red husks. Which means that they still do the same damage and everything, but a single hit will kill them. Um, which, yeah. Makes them really not as good as they used to be. I, I think it's to actively sort of... Make um, the stacking health, like basically you find a bunch of HP and, and keep making clots out of it, way less effective, which I get, but it also just genuinely makes her completely way less effective overall as well. So it's, it's just, it's one of those nerfs that I wasn't a big fan of when I saw it. And I'll be honest, this might be my first time or maybe second time playing Eve since that nerf. I think it's maybe second because I played it once and just didn't, didn't really enjoy it. So... We'll see how this goes, but I'm not particularly well enthused with the idea. Okay, that, that body apparently still does damage. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think it did, but... Also, another thing about Eve is um, the fact that you have to tap shoot with her if you don't want to expel more clots, which is really goddamn annoying. Um, and it is the leading cause of Isaac RSI. <laughs> uh, that and... Um, anti grav tears are like RSI magnets. <laughs> okay, let's take care of these guys. That was so goddamn close. Dude, why do the heads have to curl and curve? This is gonna take forever. This room's horrible. Also as well, like, the fact that you start with such low fire rate as her is, uh, is always a bit of a challenge as well. One fire rate up sorts you out pretty well, I'll be honest. Like, once you get that one fire rate up, because, um, in this game, it's, it seems at least that, like, say, say for example, if you get a fire rate increase while your fire rate's at 4, it'll be a lot less than it would be when it's at 1.2. It's, like, exponential sort of thing. At least we do have good damage to start out with. But yeah, what would you do to change Eve? Because I feel like Eve's definitely one of those characters that could do with some tweaks. There are some mods out there that, that restore her to a former glory and um, tweak her a little bit. I'm excited. Oh, that's great. Dude, what the hell is this floor? This is an absolutely gargantuan first floor for it not being XL. Okay. Yeah, the thing is as well, I don't want to lose my clots because... Um, that's wasted HP. Unfortunately, at the minute, we're getting no HP drops. So we need something like Gimpy. Gimpy would be really, really good right now. I'm going to open this up. It's definitely a bit of a stupid risk there, but I took it. I'm probably going to die here. I died. <laughs> yeah, so Eve's fun. <laughs> Oh, uh, I feel like you have to take the risk early to actually make sure you can bloody kill anything. But yeah, it's uh, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough as a good old Eve here. If we if we die early again, I'm gonna go and install the mod that re restores her to a former glory because uh, 
Although that's not been the issue so far, I still think that's going to be an issue later and it's going to annoy me. Why did, why did that guy puke out a Bernie? Does he normally puke out Bernies? Oh, bloody go away. Why is it a Bernie? Okay, we've got a heart here. That's nice. Bedtime story. I'm really not that enthused about, to be honest. Okay. More healing. That's good. Another clot. Yeah, just... I don't really get why they added the whole decaying over time business. It's just made her really sucky. Really, really sucky. <laughs> okay, let's be careful here. Okay, these are the ones that just chase you, aren't they? So, okay, up. Oh, it killed one of my clots. God damn it. Okay, at least we're getting hearts this time around that we can utilize to gain more clots. That makes me a little more okay with the situation. This is where like the character does thrive when you when you're able to create a clot army. Um what the actual flipping shit is this room? Okay, all of the guys are just hovering over the rocks. So I just have to kind of keep circling around and hoping for the best here. <laughs> Oh, this is a really annoying room. Can can you get off from over the rocks, please? There you go. Okay, you killed yourself. Yeah, this is where the character thrives. When, when I'm able to get a bunch of red heart drops, does really, really well. Can we stop with these enemies, please? Oh, I'm having a hard time right now. The game has lost some of my trust here. Anyways. Boom, bow. Getting more red hearts would also be good. But so far, this is this is the sort of first floor you want as her. When you can get an absolute army going on and you're able to kill things pretty easily. I was hoping to get some bombs or keys here to do some re-rolling of, uh, of my treasure room. But it's looking like that's not, not going to happen. We just got a ton of hearts. Alright, then I guess I'll go take the bedtime story. Not that I really want it. I guess I can give it one penny and hope it re-rolls. <laughs> right. Make our way back. Also, as well, there's the Jacob and Ezao problem. Of these characters just getting disjointed all the time on rocks. And feed folio rooms tend to have a lot more rocks. Oh, if we had just a bomb. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be re-rolling it. If we had just A-bomb, that'd be so nice. Right. Let's go, my clot army. Hopefully, the boss doesn't immediately take you all out. Okay, that th this didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Actually, it kind of did. <sighs> I got caught up there. The knockabout kind of screwed me over. Ooh, he fires little ghosty shots now. Did he always do that? Okay. We got through that. I don't know how this is going to be, but I think it's going to be a damage down. It's a damage down for now. Mitosis. Care. Right. Create another one. Right, let's go down. Let's go down. Got myself a Fanta. I'm happy. But yeah, suppository, obviously not good for us right now. But as long as we can keep clots, we don't need a lot of damage to be okay. And it'll bolster our damage upgrades in the future. So it's overall pretty decent. Sleepy time doesn't affect you, apparently. Also kind of does affect you, but not in a way that I like. My mini Isaac's doing some good, good work there. Shining Clicker. Shining Clicker's actually not terrible for us here. We respawn as another character. Although it's not something that I'd want from my item room, honestly, there's a half-decent chance that I do die as this character, so there's at least a bit of saving grace there. Yeah, honestly, the Sleepy Time book is not as bad as I remember it being. 
It's nice to be able to give enemies a timeout if they're uh, a little bit of a nuisance. Can you get to a position where I can shoot you, please? Thank you. Good. Half red heart there. Okay. Careful of this guy, because he hits me super easily all the goddamn time. Oh, dude, webbing. I forget that if you walk on webbing, all your clocks move at normal speed still. What do you, do you drop crack the sky? You do, don't you? Unfortunately, we didn't get crack the sky this time. We just got a key. I probably would have taken it if we got crack the sky, to be honest, because it's pretty much an instant boss killer most of the time. It is somewhat RNG-based, but it does a pretty good job of killing bosses. Do you want to jump over to where I can shoot you? Thank you. Some pennies, lovely. And we've got keys coming in as well. Okay, we're, we're doing relatively alright here. I say that and then lose like half of my clot army. Damage! Oh, dude. No. I just lost like so many goddamn clots. Are you kidding me, Captain? At least we got something there. Nice. Lost another clock. We're going to be losing them on the regular, I think. Honestly, if, if things start looking a bit too sour for us, I'm literally just going to kill myself and see you as I respawn as, because this Jezebel ain't my style. Just the damage is so weak. I mean, I know that we lowered our damage unintentionally, really. Or kind of intentionally, but still. Our damage is pathetic. For this many clots, our damage is really bad. Get your head away. I can't even kill the heads before they spawn a spider. That's the worst. My mini Isaac's out here just, like, living his best life. Okay, we got him. Right, boom, 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 gimme gimme, and boom. I'm probably not going to get an angel deal, so let's at least look at this. First things first, let's open up these bad boys. Wow, golden troll bomb, thanks. Yeah, that wasn't overall that great. Health down. Ooh, baby. That really, uh... That really puts us in a good spot. Had to take seven seals, though. I need some external damage source. Oh, God. Gotta love pills sometimes, baby. Gotta love those pills. I like the fact that we've got the item that gives us massive speed outside of combat and stuff. That's really nice. I put myself in a dire position health-wise, but it's whatever. Okay. We're doing a good job on the killing fields. Good thing is as well, I've, um, our clots are able to hit around corners a little bit for us too, which is nice. All my body's getting split up. Get out of here, you. Yeah, we need more red hearts so that we can clod it up more often. One's not really going to cut it. You never know what you're going to get. We're tap shooting here to try and keep our black heart alive. Otherwise, we'd end up losing some of it. It's just a bit of a slow burn is all. But yeah, I'm going to say having seven seals is really, really nice. Okay, we're all good there. Nice. I guess I could check in here for some HP. There you go. Just to have some, just in case. At least we're not one shot from a champion now. God damn, it took a bit of doing. Having more and more of these sort of stressy runs recently, I swear. Puberty. Is good. Range up's nice. 
puberty will regain our health down that we got eventually, I'm hoping. I've, c I've committed to pills now, so I have to keep taking them. Okay. Honestly, the flies, the seven seals are producing are so good. Dude, did you just eat up like... Oh my god. That guy just walked into me and ate up so many of my dudes. But if they'd had full health, that wouldn't have happened. Full health like they should have, but... That would be too easy. That would be too easy. Yeah, so now we're now we're running very low on uh, on our friends. Yeah, she she kind of went from being this character that had the chance to become really overpowered to becoming this character that's genuinely kind of a challenge. Skinny odd. Oh, dude, I damage no, I damage. Okay, this might be an absolute lost cause of a run here. Like, I might just want to abandon this one and kill myself and see who I respawn as, because this is... Oh, actually, Seven Seals is still good, though. Seven Seals is still good. Oh, God. What the fuck am I meant to do here? <laughs> yeah, cool. Ah, I see. <laughs> that was good. Okay, right, be right back. Okay, we are back and Eve is actually playable now, so we're going to give her a go again. Um, yeah, that version of Eve, I, I just cannot fathom. I cannot fathom why they decided to, uh, to change her like that. So basically, we've got two things enabled now, two mods enabled, which I feel like nowadays seem like a must play. So one of them is classic Eve, which is just exactly what it sounds like. It stops them from decaying over time. They only take damage from normal sources now, which is how they used to be. And also I have inseparable clots, basically meaning that and like they'll just teleport to me unless I specifically hold the button, uh, which again is something that uh, is, I feel very necessary because it's just super annoying to have your clots constantly get away from you. I'd rather have them stay nice and tight. Um, yeah, this is, it's probably going to make her a lot easier, like, a lot, lot easier, but I'd rather her be easier and fun than the way she is currently and just no fun at all. <laughs> that is how I do it. Oh, I always hate these little fucking fire dudes. I find them really hard to hit. Really, really hard to hit with low fire rate. God damn. There you go. We got him. We got you. 20% chance for any damage to deal no more than half a heart. That's pretty decent. Scales with luck as well. That's good. Another book here. A good book as well. I like extra fire rate. Thank you. Especially with this character. Do not like this room. This room is pretty gross. Oh, we're not killing this guy. There you go, finally. Okay. Got through it. Annoyingly, but we got through it. Alright, keep moving. Don't you dare come at my clots. Oh, God. We're getting a lot of very, very frustrating rooms for this character right now. <laughs> Anything that chases us down that can destroy our clots is going to be a problem. But yeah, people that uh, people that had to do Tainted Eve marks after the nerf. God, I feel like on console or whatever. God, I feel sorry for you. Holy hell. That's brutal. She went from being so fun to being like, why would you ever play out other than completion marks? Anyways, I'm going to stop complaining now. We've fixed it. Let's just get on with the run. Try our best. Don't particularly like this guy as a boss throwing out all the poison, but we can deal with him. He's not too bad. He's just throwing out thousands of minions. <laughs> oh my god, dude, stop. <laughs> I need to actually fight you at some point. You've realized that, right? Little goober. Little goober. But anyways, we'll continue on. Playing as good old classic Eve. Oh, 
There's a few bosses like this that spawn minions that just, like, never stop. We got him. What's the opposite Duke of Flies called? I don't remember the name of that one. That one spawns a ton of minions. We got it, and we did get HP as well, so we'll uh, quickly do this. Take that. We go boom. Boom. Boom, and... Boom. Okay, we have a nice little army going now. Yeah, I think the whole reason of like the decaying plots was to prevent this, where you can get like a full circle of them, and um, and they all have full HP. So I do kind of get it, but it was definitely too harsh to be able to like everything just one shot them. Definitely too harsh in that front. But anyways, oh god, that dude shot over the wall. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of enemies that can kind of, like, fly directly over the top of you and just wipe them all out. <laughs> okay. Let's try and keep our Devil Deal alive here. Okay, re-get ourselves a Seven Seals. But you can see, even with this fire rate, things are still a struggle for us. It's not, like, super, super easy. Keep it going with these, the Keep regaining the clots. I'm not really using my book at the minute, because it's, it's one of those books that's just too good to use syndrome. I don't even know. I didn't, I didn't use it on the boss, did I? Oh, for God's sake, guy. He got to me. He has a chance of spawning a slot in each room. Doesn't sound that useful. But I'll take it. Oh, there's a slot. There's a slot. A slot there. I best I best check every room. There's a greed slot machine. Okay, calm down you with your tail. And you spawn a beater as well. No, thank you. Is it going to spawn it after the room's over or before? One more of them going. I don't know if I'm going to enter a room with combat and have a slot machine in the middle or a, be a beggar. Or if it's only going to spawn them once the room's cleared. Keep the bombs, thank you. Might have been a good idea to blow up the um, the rune there, but I've committed to what I've done now. It's fine. There's an invisible guy in there. I can see him. He almost got me. Yeah, grab that. Nice little slowing tears for a little bit. I like it. So, okay, it is going to spawn them during combat rooms as well, which is a little inconvenient, to be honest. Good. Like, certain rooms, that's going to be annoying. Good thing is we'd have a lot of bombs to blow these things up if we want to. Good. And... We've still not seen our item room. Let's go back for that first. Yeah, let's blow this guy up. See what we get. Fragile Bobby on picking up a coin is probably pretty good. Excuse me. I'd rather have my fragile bobbies, please. Oh god, we got a lot of these ghosty boys. Especially when there's so many of them, they can be really hard to avoid. It's always a bit difficult to tell where they're gonna they're gonna land. Okay, we're good. And then here, ooh, this is an interesting one, a very interesting one. Hey, like a bunch of rockets. Okay, that's a, that's a kind of intriguing one. I, I, I'm potentially down with this. Right, let's go and fight the boss. Let's go and fight the boss. Sort of a much easier time of him this time around. The book honestly makes a huge difference. Not even that much, sir. Like, it's, it's the percent-wise in terms of how much it's given us isn't crazy, but still. Do I want to go Devil Deal here? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to Devil Deal this time around. And just head on. Definitely should have blown up the Rune Room. Oh, hello. <laughs> Wait, is this gonna be a permanent effect? Is this is this also a bugged one? So there's a there's, there's a few of the um, Rune Room effects that are somewhat bugged, and will just trigger forever for the rest of the run. Is that gonna be the case here? 
Honestly, I, I love how large these missiles are. Stop regrowing, boys. Okay. We're in far better position here. You can see that, obviously, having the clots like this, it's it's clear why it was nerfed. But the, there just needs to be a tweak to how it was nerfed, I think. I feel like. I don't know. what. Like, like, I, said, like I said at the start of the video, what are your suggestions? Because I feel like there's definitely better ways to do it than, than what was done. More fragile bobbies. The minute we are wrecking. I mean, the tier size up is slightly confusing because it's making it look like we have more damage than we do. Good. A soul heart here is fantastic. Very happy with a soul heart to help us stay along on our uh, way towards getting ourselves an angel deal. Thank you, thank you. Very hard to miss now with this uh, rocket set up as well, which I also quite like. <laughs> it's just like this absolute swarm. Right, okay. What you got for us? Mum's perfume, actual fire rate increase. Only a third point three three though. Um, I guess I'll check this for a soul heart. Yeah, baby. Worth it. I, I can actually create some more clots now if I wanted to. Now that I've got soul heart protection, I can be a bit more forthcoming with the clots. Calm yourself, boys. At least we got some fire rate increase, though. It's not anything major, but it's it's helpful. Now we're just one-shotting everything. It's the the duality of you can either be really overpowered or ridiculously underpowered. And I'm not sure which is better, because this feels a bit cheaty. A bit cheap. But it's a hell of a lot more fun. I'll tell you that. It's a hell of a lot more fun. Right. But yeah, we are <laughs> mincing bosses, and it's very hard for us to get hit because of the clots around us. Maybe the uh, the clots being inseparable is the thing that's making it more overpowered. Because they're like always on me, protecting me. That might be part of the reason why it's uh, feeling so overpowered at the minute. Got some extra shot speed there, which is good for this setup. Right, we keep her going. We keep her going. Keep some bombs to try and get Mega Satan going with that angel deal here. What in the shit happened there? Oh my god, that room is crazy. It just separated everything everywhere. Okay, this guy's a champion as well. Gotta be careful about accidentally knocking them into myself at the minute. <laughs> I just love the way, like, the tier size is so large that, like, the missiles encompass an enemy and by the time the missiles have passed over them, they're just gone. I think also, like, the, the fact that we got Model Rocket, the damage we're getting from Model Rocket is, is clearly proving to be pretty hefty. With Model Rocket, the more, um... The more fire rate, sorry, the more, the more um, like tier speed that you have, shot speed, the higher your damage is. So at 2.3, we're getting a sizable damage increase once they reach maximum velocity. All good. Okay, rain cloud boys, no thank you. Hey, oh, some of the uh, clots were firing a bit off kilter there. What was that about? Item room again. This is a good room to use our fire rate increase. But yeah, you can see that now our fire rate is higher, we gain more fire rate from our fire rate book because it works by giving you 
an extra percentage rather than an extra flat amount. Alright, what's going on in here? Little Fiend. Little Fiend is fine. He's not amazing, but he can do some good work. For quality zero, I'd say he's pretty goddamn good. I'd definitely rate him above quality zero myself. Yeah, you guys will have to weigh in on what you want me to do with Eve in the future, because this is this is clearly a bit too much. <laughs> like, I, uh, my clots haven't been hit in a while, and I haven't been hit since I got my clots. And they're just there's just going to be more and more of them over the course of the run. I think I, could, I should use one or the other mod rather than both. Bit of a double trouble going on here. It's okay though, nice and easy. Yeah, we haven't been hit in a while. We get ourselves surf box. Ooh, surf box is amazing for us. One. Two, gotta wait around. Three, come on, three. And four. There you go. For every full red heart lost in an active room, half a red heart is refunded. That that could be really good if it if it works not just on damage. Stay back, heathen. Right, so basically, my, my, my question here is, if I come in here, and I purposely go to my next room, and lose a full heart. That's one half. That's a full heart. Now, will I get half a heart back at the end of this room? I will. Okay. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Okay, oh god, this room. <laughs> That's a lot of rockets. <laughs> it's just a constant stream, oh my god. But yeah, anyways, how's everyone's day going? What have you been up to? We've got some friends around for the next few days, um, so I'm backlogging videos at the minute. Uh, I actually thought they were coming over tomorrow, it turns out they're coming over today, so I completely miscalculated. I'm, I'm at the minute currently rushing to do like three videos before they arrive in a few hours. Yeah, so I have like a constant pool of health to access now. Good old little chest. Little chest isn't bad. It can give you trinkets and stuff. Give you some good stuff. Thank you. Come along, my army. See, at this point, I don't even know if a single clot has died. It, it, all it takes is, like, playing, playing it with a classic version to be like, Oh, this is what she used to be like. I see. I'd rather have an item. Or two stone chests. Excuse me. No, 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 no. You can't come up this ladder. <laughs> like, we're going to have to use two bombs here, unfortunately. Cool. Through we go. Where is our boss at? Found out. Pretty much at this point, I'm beelining it through the floors. As you can, if you can't already tell, because... 
We can just go straight to the boss after the item room. Like, what else do we need on this run, really? This is, this is sort of, I, I know I keep talking about it, it's hard not to. But, like, this is kind of a good demonstration of the, the power of, of original Eve, because this isn't even that good of a run. <laughs> like, this is a, this is sort of like a mid-tier run. I'd be happy with this run on a normal character, but... With this, it's just so much more. I don't think I need to create any more clots from this point onwards, to be honest. I feel like it's getting a bit egregious now. Fear's nice. I like the fear. Little tombstone boy, could you please just chill? Okay. Ooh, a dime as well. Lovely, lovely. Unexpected, but lovely. But yeah, I also do apologize if my commentary isn't quite up to the regular standards that it normally is, because, uh... I, um, I've just woken up, and the the whole... Honestly, at the minute, Isaac's been in a weird spot for me, because I feel like, and, and please, please do speak to this in the comments section if you have any thoughts on it. I feel like I, 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 I do this a lot, where I go through ruts of Isaac, where sometimes I really enjoy playing it, sometimes I don't not enjoy playing it, but it's not quite the same. And I'm definitely in that point at the moment, where I'm, I'm not not enjoying it, I still enjoy playing it, I still enjoy recording it, but sometimes I really enjoy it. Like, when we were during the streak, I was having an absolute blast. And I am enjoying playing, like, through some other characters that we didn't play in the streak, and uh, I enjoyed, but like, going back and revisiting some of the modded characters. Some, there's some other modded characters we should probably still revisit soon. Um, some of the ones that I don't currently have on the streak, uh, like installed, like deleted, maybe some of the epiphany characters that I haven't played in a little while, stuff like that. Oh god, all of my things are just getting sucked straight in. I can't fire in the direction I want to. Um. Oop, they turned off for a little bit. Come on, dude. Stop being feared, please. There you go. Um. Yeah, uh, and I don't know, I like, one thing that's kind of annoying me at the minute is I feel like I'm getting too mad <laughs> in general. I feel like it's definitely a product of what I was just talking about, about sometimes not being as into it as I am other times. Like, it just, things get on my nerves more easily. But I feel like as well, we've just been having some of these runs that, that just breed annoyance. And sometimes it's it's self-inflicted, like when we played the, um, the the ultra hard mode challenge but i quite enjoy that that that's like a, a true challenge and i i enjoy trying that out every now and again it's like it's a bit of rage bait but it, it's fun yeah i don't want to be that sort of youtuber that just complains all the time because there's a lot of youtubers that do that i want to be the guy that's optimistic i want to be the guy that that people watch to have a good time and not w watch to just listen to me complain about stuff or complain about the game or the run that i've got I don't know, what do you guys feel? Do you, do you guys feel like I do it too much? Because, I don't know, it's, I feel like it's one of those things where I've seen one person comment about it, and now it's all I can think about. And I realise in YouTube that's an absolutely terrible way to think about things, because normally that one person's opinion is just because either that person has specific tastes, or that person's been an asshole. Um, so, and I'm not saying the person that said it is, I'm just saying that that's sometimes the case. Like, you can't really take comments too, uh, like especially negative comments, to heart too much, because sometimes that person is being malicious, or sometimes, like I said, they have very specific tastes that are not, not going to align with the majority of the viewership. So it's kind of good to get a, a gauge of what you guys think. Do you guys, on average, think that I complain too much? Do you think I complain more now? I do want to address it a little bit. I don't, like, it, it's just hard to have my own perception on things. God damn, I love the way this looks with all these massive rockets. It's so cool. Another angel deal, lovely. We got perfection as well. This is what I mean by not getting hit, man. Trinity shield doesn't really do anything for us. Just hold him back. A few of my clots are dying. Oh, we got a little D6 here. It's annoying to get that after. Thanks, little chest. That would have been so good before.
Really? Both of those back to back. Anyways, I guess I'll take this and re-roll that. And then I guess I can come back in here and grab this. Shall I re-roll it again? Nah, I'll take this. HP up's decent. And we'll go down to the next floor. We will keep her going. I also have a physiotherapy appointment um, coming up today as well. Because I, I think I've spoken quite a lot about on my series about the fact that I've been running recently. But the past month I've not been able to run at all because like I've messed up the back of my knee. It's like the muscles feels really tight. And I don't know what it's, I don't know what's going on with it. And I went to the doctors and they were like, oh yeah, just walk on it a bit. I was like, oh fucking thanks. Just walk on it a bit, really. Great. It's not like I've been doing that for an entire month. Um, so I ended up just getting a private physiotherapy uh, appointment, which is quite a lot of money, to be honest. But if it's going to fix my leg, I'm, I'm reasonably happy to do it. Anyways, one sec. Right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's it's like it, it was like it was like seventy three pounds for an hour physio session, which is diagnosis and treatment, which is probably one of the most expensive things I've ever paid for in my life. In terms of like, obviously I've I've bought things that are far more expensive, like my PC. But if you calculate the amount of hours I've used my PC for per pound that I spent, then. It's an absolute fucking bargain. Whereas this is literally going to be more than a pound a minute. <laughs> it's going to be probably the highest costing like thing I've ever um, I've ever actually like highest costing per minute of use that I've ever purchased. But like I said, if it helps to fix my knee and I can go running again, I'll be happy for it. Really, lemon mishap. I'll be happy for it, because, um, yeah, I have been getting really frustrated with not being able to go running. Cause I, 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 not only do I want to do it to help me lose weight, um, but I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Running's, like, super, super nice way to relax. Like, basically, whenever I got too stressed about work or even stuff with YouTube, just go out in a for a run for an hour and it'd properly clear my head. I'd feel so much better after it. So, I'd really like to get back into doing that, because, like I said, it was... A huge relief to have that have that sort of way of dealing with it. But now at the minute, I just don't have that. Because it's like my, my leg doesn't hurt enough to stop me from running. But I know that if I do run, it'll like it'll make the injury potentially worse. So I've, I've just not been running just in case. I like having Spectral, by the way. Getting uh, the Fire Rate bonus from Ouija Board along with the Spectral has been very, very nice. Oh, God. In these large rooms, the lag is pretty unbearable. But I have just installed new mods. Whenever you uh, increase your mod count, you got the chance of uh, lag. And it certainly seems to be the case. I, I, I'm not so. That's another thing I'm not particularly sure about. When when my game is like lagging like this, when I've like installed new mods, is it due to the increased mod count, or is it due to me installing mods that are poorly coded? Like I don't mean poorly coded as in they're bad mods. I mean as in like they aren't optimal. Ugh. I'm not doing, I'm not doing this. Lost my perfection. Good. Oh, it's not even the right way. This is gross. Not even the right way, baby. Sorry, clots. I don't know if you're gonna be able to stick with me. You kind of can. We're making our way up there. Thirty percent damage up against bosses. I think that is pretty nice. I love the way that the uh, these rooms play with the gravity and make puzzles out of it. It's quite fun. The crawl spaces in Fiend Folio are a lot better. Right, this Pac-Man room. I really don't want to mess with it. It's going to end up hitting me again with the ghost, which is why I bought the additional soul heart. Can't be bothered playing around with that room. Oh god. I've shot this guy. I did not mean to shoot that guy. I mean, to be fair, I could just knock him away. We could create some more dips here. I, I just don't really need more at this point. 
We've got this pretty insane army. There you go. I guess that'll do. Right, hope we can actually find the boss this way. To be fair, with Spectral, these guys are not going to be that hard. Yeah, Eve's probably not going to be a character that I play a ton of, I wouldn't think. Hey, 10% chance for a card on room clear. That's pretty good. Not going to be a character that I play a ton of, I wouldn't think. But obviously, I need to get completion max for them eventually, so I can't completely put it off. We are trying to do a 100% save file at the end of the day. It's been taking us some time. Honestly, we'd be a lot further on if we were just playing vanilla characters, but I've been messing around a lot and taking my time because, I don't know, there's no rush. We're enjoying, we're enjoying the ride. We're enjoying the ride. Okay. This has been a pretty slow run so far. Although I say that, it feels really slow. We're only on... Oh, get out the way. We're only on 18 minutes on Depths 2. We're actually going to make Boss Rush. Which I wouldn't have expected. Beautiful. No Angel deal. Um, we will take the Polaroid here. Don't know where that troll bomb came from. I think my little chest just pooted that out onto me. A little bit annoying. Ooh, rubber bullets is nice here. This guy's getting knocked around quite a lot. Can you die already? There you go. I'm just going to plant, plant a bomb here to get rid of this middle section. It's going to make hitting all the enemies in a row a lot easier. Okay, and we're going to be gaining fire rate like crazy here as well. This should be an absolute piece of piss, I would think. I feel like it just feels like a really long run because I've been going for an extra 16 minutes on top of what I was normally doing from my first run. Beautiful. Yeah, also, just the lag just does not help. Yeah, I feel like I've definitely introduced more lag after the after installing these two EVE mods, so it might be to do with those specific mods and the way that they're coded. I have heard before that specific mods can have a bigger impact than others if they're not optimally coded. It's hard to know, really. I mean, when there's this many tiers going on on a modded save file, like modded run, sorry, there's always going to be some degree of crazy lag. Also, this bruising thing is real nice. The rubber bullets. It's probably going to be a fairly long boss rush, I would think. I think the rubber bullets have extra knockback as well, because we're knocking enemies around like crazy at the minute. Die already, big boy. Yeah, I mean, we're getting through each wave in like five seconds. We've got quite a lot of clots that are actually looking to be on lower HP now as well. <laughs> Up to 6.10 fire rate. There's nothing they can do. <laughs> it's just this absolute barrage of rockets. It's... What I need is, I need a mod that completely removes these particle effects when stuff hits the ground. That's my biggest problem with, like, I, there's quite a few mods out there that do similar things or do that and other things, but I haven't seen a Repentance up-to-date one that just removes the VFX when tears hit the floor. It would honestly help so goddamn much. Because, yeah, the, 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 the lag that it, it produces is there. Uh, up to 8 fire rate now, oh my god. Like, can you see it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's insane. It's insane. All I can see is rockets. All I know is rockets. 
Like, we're hitting the other boss as well. If we had a bit more range, we'd be able to hit both every time, but we don't quite have the range to do that. This is what I'm going to do. Just sit here and fire in both directions. Oh, come on. How did you escape that? An Emperor card. It's kind of interesting that we're getting cards constantly from our trinket here in this. Like each way of counting as a room clear and giving us cards. Okay, Reap Creep, you need to go first. Sick Maggot. We don't want Sick Maggot because Rotten Hearts are bad for this version of Eve. And you just got your little fellas doing their thing. Dude, the way it can just bop them straight off the screen is so annoying. Yeah, just stop. Oh my god, they're just getting booped for miles. I can't goddamn kill these things. Okay, there you go. Okay, this guy can't even be damaged yet. Knockback is frustrating. This with no knockback would be insane. I was way too low there. My bad. Okay. Yeah, this position's working really well to just fire in both directions and kill everything. We've got a, an other type of clot there. I don't know where that came from. Oh, it's from our, like, poop heart, I think. Jump on up, fella. It's your time to shine. Nah? Okay, there you go. Jumped right into it. Good. Oh, there we go. We did it. Queen of Spades. Nice. Wow, Anarchist Cookbook. I can't believe you're so generous to me, game. It's going to be sad going from 8.29 fire rate to, like, 1 point something. I will take an Emperor card, though, to make Annex Womb Floor a lot more palatable. We do have a black market there, but honestly, I don't really want to trade my HP away too much. Right. Yeah, 2.13 fire rate now. Pony for flight, maybe. Um, Laura's water is probably the better one out of the two here. Although I probably won't even use Laura's water too much. We've not even had a damage upgrade this entire run. Yeah, good. We're able to plow through that nice and quickly. Honestly, yeah, having spectral here is so goddamn nice. Yeah, I, I really just wish there was a um, there was a better API for Isaac modding. I know it's never going to happen, but it just it'd be so delicious to be able to play Isaac with all these mods, and e even more potentially, and not have to deal with the lag that we have to deal with. Like, you put like one or two too many mods on, the game just absolutely craps itself. <laughs> like even now in this run, we're kind of struggle busting our way through it, like the game is not liking what we're doing. And this is what most of the Tainted Eve runs are going to look like with uh, the mod setup we have. But yeah, we're definitely not going to do this mod setup again, I don't think, because this is definitely a bit too much. It's definitely going to have to be one or the other. I'm hoping I go the right way here. I'm pretty much just going in a straight line and hoping for the best. So yeah, I had a feeling that would come to an end soon enough. Good. Let me leave, please. You're good. Oh, where'd you come from? I don't know, but you're dead now. <laughs> My little clotties. Bouncing that body around, it's funny. For keys, we're probably going to do hush as well here, because, I mean, we're in time for it by a long shot. And it's probably going to be pretty easy, although quite long. 
Although I probably end up losing quite a lot of clots during it, potentially. We'll take the risk anyways. Adam's rib. Not the greatest angel items we could have had, to be honest. Our angel items have been not ideal. But let's do hush anyways. We're probably going to lose a lot of clots in this, but... It's about time we lose some, right? Cat of Decay is not good for us here. What does that do? Ah, just the spinning coins. We don't really care about that too much, do we? Maggie's Burr. Okay, we did say about Gimpy being really good for us. Uh, but I think Maggie's Burr is probably better, actually. Good. Gideon's Gaze is really good late game. We'll take that. Right now to wait here. Until we've got three hearts down. Because we're getting double healing from these half hearts. So we might as well take full advantage of it. In fact, we've got four hearts to play with here. So we can do a one more, I think. Just to have more protection, more clots for the fight. We don't need them, but... Look how long it's taking to get one clot. Oh my god. Brutal. Right, so we should get full heart heals from these. That we do. Honestly, Maggie's bow is insanely strong. Good thing is, we should, with the the bruising effects, be able to get through, like, phases pretty quick. Unfortunately, no 8 fire rate this time around, though. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how quickly this is going to go, and I reckon we'll end up... It'll get slower over time as we lose clots. I'm thinking the bruising effect, if it works on Hush, which it looks like it does based on the damage we're dealing. Um, our clots are just at the whim of whatever the game wants to do here. Kind of let him do his thing. I don't even know where those shots are going that he was shooting then. It seemed to kill a few clots, I think. We just got this absolutely massive circle on us. Yeah, okay, the bruising is working nice. I don't exactly know how the bruising actually affects enemies. I don't really know. I think it just, like, for every bruising stack they have, they take 10% more damage or something. I don't actually know the exact mechanics of it. That's just my prediction. We've already got him down to about, what, two-thirds health. If he'd pop up, we'd kill him a lot quicker. Come on, my guy. What you doing? There you go. I am happy. He's popped his head up. I like it when you don't shoot. This is this is very strange, but very nice. Maybe because he's feared. He's not spawning flies. He's not shooting. Okay, now he's shooting, I see. But at this rate, he, we're not going to lose as many clots as I thought, to be honest. I think with the bruising, we're just doing an insane amount of damage to him. Fortunately, he is a coward. So we've got to wait. There you go. You can see how quickly the health bar is going down there. For every, every hit, we take off about 5% of his full HP. It's pretty insane, to be honest, so... Only another, like, ten or so shots and we've got him dead. Oh, stop going underground, please, boy. I don't want to have to berate you. You're giving me no choice, big boy. He hasn't done any of his special attacks yet, really. No beams, no spawnies. There's the spawnies. Spawnies is good, though, because he'll keep his mouth open the entire time. And I can just keep on wailing on him and kill him. Beautiful. 
Nice easy hush kill there. We get the Soul of Eve unlocked, which honestly isn't very good, but it exists. Thank you. Um, we'll go this way. We should have probably gone um, Dark Path, so we could have gone to the Void, but... Yeah. Oh my lord, that's very enjoyable to see. I very much like that, the bouncing around of the rockets. This with rubber cement would be pretty insane, thinking about it now. Okay, wrong way straight away. Ah. Right, my fant is keeping me happy. To be fair, this run is quite fun. It just, there's a slight damper because of the lag. The slowing of the run. Let's put a slight damper on things. Was that a thingy worm there? Yeah, rainbow worm could be pretty fun with this. Ooh, a sun card for the next floor. Yes, please. Right, let's quickly blast that open. Oh, can I not place bombs? Okay, no, I can't place bombs. My clots just yeet them. So I've got to go like this. Nope. Okay, I can't. I just can't place bombs. So that's a downside that we've got. Apparently. Oh my god. Look at the rockets go. That's not how rockets travel. <laughs> I want to see a Roboros worm. That's going to be hilarious. Wait. Oh, we went the wrong way. God damn it. I was like, wait a minute. There's no door here. Oh, there's a soul heart there that I completely missed. Freebie. I haven't been to take advantage of Surf Box. Getting two healing every floor with this character is insane. <clears throat> These worms are making it kind of hard to hit you, but it's funny. <gasps> Did I just get hit? When was the last time that happened? The fires. The clots do don't do anything against the fires. Angel Deal item or Soul Heart? Soul heart. Oop, eternal heart as well, though. Danka, danka. Right. Keep moving along. Let's just keep firing and producing clots, because we've got a sun card. We're going to get full healing on the next floor and mapping. How are you not dead? There you go. The only thing is, the more we fire, the more it lags. Just gotta deal with it. I mean, things are going down so quick. Not like we've got a problem in that department at all. And I do I do love a rockety run. We've had a few runs with the this rocket item that just absolutely spiral out of control. It's quite nice. Oh my god, what the hell's going on with this? <laughs> that was amazing. I forgot we got this vanilla wafer as well doing even more for us. This is... It's difficult to actually expend all my health, to be honest. Is that not it? Ah, there's a few fellas over here that I missed. Hello. Vanilla wafer coming in again. Giving us a refund on some of our HP there. Oh, there's a Roboros Worm. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Very hard to control, but beautiful nonetheless. There's a golden pill back there, but at this stage, do I need it? Nah, not really. <laughs> the flight of the rockets. There's the ringworm as well. <laughs> they become so funky wonky. I love it. Okay, we're at the point now we don't need to keep producing clots. I think we're uh, we're at a point of content now. Why can't I move? Uh, I was like, why can't I move? I'm in the fucking bubble. That's why I can't move, you goose. 
There you go. Finally disappeared. I have Spectral. You didn't know that, did you, boy? Right. Boss time. Shan't be too hard. Shan't be too hard at all. My god. Annihilated. Holy hell. No second phase for you, Budski. Tower of Babel. Right. Let's get in here. Quad shot with this is uh, intriguing. Don't know if it's good, but it's intriguing. Uh, actually go towards the boss first, shall we? The the sound department did not like that one. Even just moving through these rooms is agony. <laughs> oh my god. Oh lord. It literally lags the moment I shoot. Is that everything? Okay, good. Oh my god, this is gonna be fucking hell. Oh, okay, I was able to plant a bomb this time around. I'm not sure what that was about before. Hmm, that was weird. I don't know why it bugged out last time. Oh, it was the Laures thing, wasn't it? I always forget about that. The Laures thing pushes your bombs away. I've, I've had this exact same issue like three or four times and I always forget about it. <laughs> this pleases me. This is so fucking stupid. This with Herming, imagine. Imagine it. <laughs> Just instant annihilation. I just love the way it looks, all the fires, all the purple bullets on top. It's quite beautiful. We'll eventually make it to the boss. Managed to kill pretty much everything. Barring a few small fellas. One of them has managed to escape over here. <laughs> Right, oh god, we're still three rooms away from the boss. Honestly, getting through these rooms is agony. Another golden pill. Oh, that other mushroom didn't goddamn die. I thought it did. Okay, a wall of bullets coming your way. I'm say that ought to kill you. That ought to do it. Okay, this is this is hard work. This is. <laughs> okay, we managed to kill everything at least. I don't know how this guy's gonna go. Can we hit him more than once with one barrage of shots? Not by the looks of things. Not an ideal enemy to be fighting, to be honest. He respawned? No! Don't do this to me. Don't make me fight this guy again. <laughs> the game's running at like 1 FPS. Oh my god. Okay, we got him. That took some goddamn doing. Imagine this with a lump of coal as well if they grew as they travelled. Right, it's boss time. No, oh, dude, he took like no damage then. That boss armor's... Boss armor's doing you some 
fucking good, my guy. What the hell? Okay, there, that's more like it. Of course, all that missed. Yeah, that boss armor is insane. Dude! Get your funky wonky boss armor away from me. God damn it, I keep missing. I keep firing too early. You and your boss armor can go away. Where, where have you gone? Okay, no, you, you just teleported straight into my shots. Yeah, so basically they have boss armor that fades over time. So it goes from not being able to kill him at all to just instantly killing him. UFK. Is that Ultra Flesh Kid? I think it is. Right. Now to the arduous journey back. This has been a hell of a run. I want to produce clots without firing. That would be nice. At this rate, I'm just going to not produce any more clots. I just can't. Books now activate another random active item. Mm, it's kind of potentially quite nice. Right, I'm not doing any additional rooms here either. Ain't nowhere. Right, let's see how this goes. Is likely to be a fairly slow fight. You, I gonna say you survived that? No, you didn't. <laughs> the amount of fucking tears it fires at once is just ridiculous. Each one of these dudes firing four tiers. It's just mental. Yeah, buddy. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> that guy spawned right on top of all that crap. Unfortunately, this is actually gonna be kind of an annoying phase. We have to hit all the little segments and they're gonna bounce around the room and stuff. Little bit hard to keep a keep a lid on. Got fighting all of these guys. Just takes too much time. The knockback is going to make sure you can't get anywhere near me. And you two are going down as well. There you go. Oh, I got hit by something. Don't quite know what. Going to hit them with that fire. Dude, stop spawning more stuff. Just, just let me kill you. They're clearly not surviving, so <laughs> there's no point in you spawning all your minions. There ain't no point to it. You're perishing either way, my buddy. There you go. Next phase, please. Oh, apparently I didn't quite get in there. Next phase, please. Honestly, even if I get Delirium, I don't know if I can face this run for much longer. Don't know if I can do it. It's just the FPS is too low. I mean, at least we're killing at insane speeds. I mean, we're going to lose some clots here, but like I said, 
I don't, I, even if I get Delirium, I don't think I'm going to do it. I just can't bear this run. I mean, we've absolutely annihilated Mega Satan as well, which is always nice. Probably two more shots, maybe even just one. But two more. Beautiful stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this very long run, which didn't have to be as long as it was, but frame rate be damned. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.